Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trail. Hello. dark you might notice it's dark why is it dark Andrew because it's night time I've just finished it finished editing this week's video and we need an introduction for it so we're doing it on our evening dog walk so true professionals <laughs> we know that there's been quite a few subs added over the last year or so and uh, about well several thousand isn't it yeah so you might not have seen this no we've compiled our favorite bits of the winter of 2019 cue video. Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're at Pendine Lighthouse. So did you know at Trinity House they bought the land here for the lighthouse in 1865 but it was too rocky to be able to build the lighthouse so they had to flatten the land. So they used the help of local Pendine miners with explosives to prepare it, ready for building the lighthouse. But that's an interesting fact actually, because it is significantly flatter than the surrounding area, isn't it? They did a good job. They did do a good job. You can certainly see why they needed a lighthouse down here. That is powerful. instructions basically are very simple. We head along the coast now. So far since we left the lighthouse we've been accompanied by nature's orchestra and the fireworks going on out to sea. And all the way along the coast you can just see plumes of white sea spray today. It's amazing. Oh, only a little bit. <laughs> You're doing the old mud waddle, are you? Yeah. <laughs> bit muddy, but it's okay, it's passable. Caution shot objects. What does it tell you? It tells me that it was a wrecked Polish coaster which was called the Alacrity which grounded here in September 1963 carrying anthracite dust. The Royal Marines tried to dislodge her with explosives but only succeeded in peppering the area with shrapnel. Sea did a better job. In three weeks the Alacrity was broken up and dragged off by the tide. It's the old wreck. Yes. Hence the warning isn't it? Coming off for Ferris Cove up the cliff path there, yeah. wasn't it? Did you know that that was used in the original Pole Duck series back in the 1970s? No! It's one of the beaches they used to portray Nampara. Oh, but, well you can see why it's beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous beach. We were musing whether or not we're doing this the right way round. Because we keep looking over our shoulder back at Porthferris and Pendine Watch Lighthouse. The map directions definitely take us this way though. Oh yeah, no, but if the walk was done the other way round. I'd be walking backwards then, I wouldn't fancy that, I'd fall off the cliff. Go on, go walk backwards then. Right. Bye! Bye. <laughs> so we're heading inland now, good path, well defined, not too muddy. We've always got more of a church spire as a landmark. I don't know how many years ago we're going back but it's quite some time but the villagers were awoken with quite a fright on the stroke of midnight when they could hear the church bells chiming. They came running to the church and a bell was ringing. It's been trepidation candlelight they came into the church wondering what was going on. They came to the bell tower here and they looked and guess what was ringing the bell? A person? 
A cow. <laughs> a cow was in here munching on the on the, oh, bell on the ropes, rope. pulling the ropes and ringing the bell. Because it's made of hemp. Yeah. Tasty. So we're trying to get over to those properties over there. We're gonna retrace our steps. I think it's overgrown. I, I think it's been through. cut off. If all else fails, we've got our good old ordnance survey with us. There's no path that way. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's amusing. Right. So they emerged from the path that we couldn't find and they're looking for the path that we emerged from. We've been told yeah. almost if you're walking through someone's garden. Okay. Well, that was a challenge. There's no sign there that I could see. So you're going to go back and have a little look? Yeah. The footpath is to the left hand side of number five here you'll find the footpath marker and it does feel as if you are literally walking into their back garden but this is correct I have to prove it i found a dog hello dog so although the walk instructions are here they're hidden quite a lot in the text which is a lot of history yeah and the um, information which is brilliant it's really nice to read but it makes it rather difficult when you actually just need simple instructions to go field one, field two, field three. And maybe and the, the key information you need for walk instructions maybe should be in bold possibly. Yeah, they? yeah. Right, so we've just spoken to the farmer. Yeah. Apparently the footpath was moved a couple of years ago. Yeah. So we're now heading through that gate. For a little gate just there on the wall. Okay. Yeah. Got a fan club, Sarah. <laughs> They are following us. <laughs> it's a bit like the Pied Piper, isn't it? But I haven't got a flute. I've just been licked by a cow. <laughs> well, hello. Look, we've got a new gang. Aren't you handsome? Oh, look at them a minute. Look, he's off. <laughs> That's what cows do. They run. <laughs> oh, here they, here they come again, look. Ooh. <laughs> They're young'uns, aren't they? Yeah. Full of energy, aren't they? I suppose they're like preschool cows, isn't it? You're just interested, aren't you? You're just curious. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> and we, we have resorted to using our wooden, wooden survey. survey. <laughs> Are we on the foo path? Farm animals put dogs on lead. Farm animals put dogs on lead? Yeah. How do they do that? He's lost as well, Sarah. I can smell sea. It's fabulous. Sarah. We landed! Yay! Why? Because, because it's stormy. Lands into myself. So we're getting closer to the coast and lands in. Boy, the wind! Wow, it's just picked up. <laughs> Incredible, the water is so white, there's so much white froth on this sea that you can't actually see the next wave breaking on top. I don't know how I'm going to show you guys. This wave is rushing in there. Safe place to watch a storm? Great place to watch a storm. Safe, you don't feel as though you're in too much jeopardy. The wind still hits you full on, but it's a brilliant place to watch. You've got such a brilliant vantage point both ways. Oh. 
Blow an Uli. It's enough to blow you off your feet, I tell you. Today we brought you to Porth Tower. One of my favourite houses in Porth Tower. Simply love to be in that attic room. Just about see it there, that castellated bit. They've got a fantastic view down to the beach. It's great, isn't it? So part of the reason for choosing this walk is there's quite a lot of road walking. The cliff path shouldn't be too bad. There's a bit of that too. There's only small amounts of valley walking, which fingers crossed should be passable. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. What are we going to do if we can't pass the muddy bit? We'll have to pass. <laughs> we'll turn around and go and get hot chocolate in Fourth Tower. Yeah. Yeah, sit in the blue bar and just watch the surfers. Should we go back now? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a plan actually. <laughs> uh. We're wandering up a pretty little valley tumbling stream beside us, gurgling along, making the most fantastic noises. What a good idea this was. I'm so pleased we've come out today. Okay, so this river's quite engorged. And Andrew just said we have to cross here. How? You cross here, you got a boat. <laughs> How? Oh, this is fun, isn't it? <laughs> We aren't crossing that, are we? Perhaps we should ask our subscribers how they think we should cross this river without us, with this little stream. They're currently that. laughing at us. They're sat in their armchair in their cosy houses watching us idiots try and cross the stream. Chuck that in there. Go back there. You're proposing that's a stepping stone? Yeah, look, the dog's going to go for it, look. Oh! There he goes. Don't bring it back, I need that. I don't think you should. Oh! Oh! No! <laughs> oh God, are you right? Ow. You idiot. Oops. Yeah. Had a bit wet. I've got a bit of a wet bottom. Just made it worse. We just bumped into a couple and they've told us if we walk up here a little bit further, there's a bridge. Yeah. No need for any of those shenanigans really, was there? Don't do that at home. <laughs> I tell you, I was thinking of introducing a new feature on our walks this year. Oh yeah? A modometer. Basically, you've got to judge how muddy a walk is on a scale of 1 to 10. So we need to look at our boots at the end of the walk. Yeah. yeah. If it slows you down a bit, it's got to be a 9 or an 8, and this is slowing me down a bit. It's quite nice mud though. Yeah, it's sloshy. I think how muddy the dog gets as well has to be on the... Glad we brought your car. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those llamas, they're enjoying the sunshine. Are they llamas or old packers? Shall I ask them? They've got long necks. They're from South America. They lost. <laughs> so we need to turn left now. At the T-junction we go straight across. A bit gate leaning. I love a bit of gate leaning, Sarah. Oh. Is there room for another? Yeah. Yeah, that's down to Chapel Course, isn't it? Just make out the top of the valley there, can't you? Yeah, and Wheel Charlotte on the hill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, another moment where you feel like you're in someone's garden, I know. isn't it? What was if we're having a barbecue in the back garden or something? I know. Ah, oh, we'd nick a sausage and carry on, eh? I think you'd be fine, the dog's got over. Hooray! <laughs> Didn't go in that time. He's going to have a geek look. He's meant to be going down the lane. It probably would have be been the old Methodist chapel. Looking beautiful. Look at that. Tells us this is the old inn cottage. 
Can you imagine that all those years ago as an alehouse? But that's seen some sights over the years. So we were briefly there in the little village of Hamlet even, of Mingoose, and this rather muddy walkway. Mud is a theme today, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to take us all the way down to Chapel Pool. Oh, look at that. First sight of the sea. But this valley is lovely, it's sheltered. It's been perfect actually, just a little bit muddy. I've already said about the mud. <laughs> Keep going on about the mud. Stop talking about the mud, Sarah. <laughs> Have you told them about the mud? <laughs> Straight on. Straight on. Yeah. No more water shenanigans, crossing river shenanigans, getting wet bottoms. Shenanigans. It's a good word, isn't it? You don't hear that very often, do you? I like that word. Shenanigans. child we used to get out and about a bit sometimes come over here and I used to hate this path when I was a kid it's stony it's rocky it's steep and it seems to go on forever as an adult I think I still feel the same way <laughs> You are rewarded with a fantastic view. Very true. Look at that. Love the light at this time of year. It has a kind of delicacy, a brittleness. It's not as harsh and in your face as the summer. It's beautiful. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Very impressive. <laughs> nah, it didn't work, mate. No, you haven't. He's gone and done it. He's so proud of himself, look. So shall we go down on the beach a bit? We've got to have a look at the sea again, haven't we? Just before we get back in the car, in case it's raining again tomorrow. We're at Pra Sands. So we're here in Pra Sands or Pray Sands. P R A A it can be said either way as far as I know. I'm sure there's some locals that vehemently say no, it's Pray Sands. What are you doing? It's Pray Sands. What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, we're here today on a beautiful day. It's a beautiful place. For a little walk. <laughs> well, that surfer there, he's gone rogue. Because all his mates are down the other end of the beach. He's either incredibly good, yeah. or he's got it completely wrong. <laughs> so, what side are you falling on then? Completely wrong. Yeah, you can get an up or anything, is he? As you know, Sarah, yes. I'm a fan of coastal erosion. Yeah. And it is definitely evident here on this beach. So much so, there's a tree down. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that, that tree should be up there with its mates. I think it's very, very impressive when it's upright, though. I do too. What's this? It's a poem. The beech tree, once I stood so proud above the sea, majestic, green, and proud to be, the tallest, magnificent old garden tree. The trunk, the bark, has completely disappeared and it's now bleached white. I've got a museum for you. Oh yeah? Are we Are walking up the coast or walking down the coast? Well, we're kind of going east-west, aren't we? Yeah. So does that make it a cross? Oh, I'm really confused now. I was going up. <laughs> I don't know. We're going away from Land's End, so we could be going up. Yeah. Is that what you're thinking? Going up country. What do you think? <laughs> Is there a difference? Does it matter? Yeah. 
So we walked a mile and a half from Pra Sands. It's Prey Sands, what are you doing? <laughs> We're heading in the direction of, if you can make it out, it says Porf Leven, three and three quarter miles. We wander through the National Trust car park here and down to Rinsey Head. Did you know that we all prosper the engine house up there? That was used in Poldark, but not the most recent series and not the 1970s series. It's actually used in the mid 90s in a film version of Poldark, which I think wasn't terribly successful. National Trust Notice Board. They were suggesting you look for a rock formation here on the headland that looks like a camel. I guess it's aimed at kids, but it's not exclusive, is it? Let's have a look. Ah, look what I found. It's the meerkat. Ah, that wasn't hard to find, was it? Apparently that's called the camel. Yeah, it's also known as the bishop. Well, I think on the very tallest piece there, on the left-hand side, I can just make out what looks like the features of a face. And then on the, what would be the back of the head, it looks like one of those like hats, like bishop's hats, but it looks as if it's probably blown off in the wind. <laughs> I think a camel is more apt. I agree with you. Or maybe even the modern-day version of a meerkat. They look amazing against the sea. Look at that. Whenever I see these cliffs top engine houses, these abandoned ruins like this, it often makes me wonder and try to imagine what it must have been like to trundle here every day for work, whatever the weather. And there would have been no actual proper roads and horses and carts and cars and all that sort of thing, the luxuries that we've got to make it so easy today. It must have been so hard. Until you're inside, you don't understand the scale of them, do you? Can you imagine all that machinery years ago and noise here and yeah. waves? And... Wow. The men shouting, horses whinnying, seagulls crying. So building mine shafts on a cliff isn't as daft as it seems to us today. From the sea, they'd have been able to see the granite and at the edge of the granite, the mineral load forms. That's where you get your copper and tin and other minerals, but in smaller quantities like gold, silver maybe. So from the sea, they would have known and they would just have to come and pinpoint that line of granite on the land. And they were probably pretty much assured they would find minerals. Need Andrew in here really to give you some idea of the scale. Right, so this gives us some perspective. So you're about six foot tall. Two coins high. Two coins? Two yeah. boats. And look. That's taller than 40 foot. Do you think so? Yeah, I think it's like 70 foot. Really? Okay. I will bow to your better judgment. Amazing hearing the sea out there, isn't it? Yeah, this is just amazing because it's so old and you can kind of smell the decay and it's musty that sort of i don't know it's not like an old bookshop but um a bit damp maybe no, oh, dennis has arrived recent one because of the rain involved. We're here at St Agnes watching at high tide to see some of the waves.
welcome. Hello, welcome. Oh, it's a storm Kira. That in tree. Storm Kira is being felt right across the UK, bringing a combination of gale force winds and lashing rain. What? Testing the camera's still working. You join us at Ruin Lanihorn. We're in Ruin Lanihorn. Not in many guidebooks. It's off the beaten track. It's gloriously country rural feel about it. Fantastic pub. We'll have a wander around later. Why are we doing this walk today then, Sarah, in the middle well, of February? Two reasons. The book says that it's a lane walk. We want to find out, A, is a lane walk interesting? Can you actually have a really good walk without crossing fields? Also, it's been really wet, so we don't really want to cross fields. So let's find that. Yeah. Hey? So it's, it's our favourite walk named after a lady. What? A lane. <laughs> so the silted up riverbed, the marshland, is just there. It's about a foot, foot and a half lower than the road. So although the road is quite damp, a bit of water on it, they've got plenty of these drains that just allow the water to feed into the marshland. So hopefully we won't be wading. Oh! And that was a pheasant! <laughs> is this where it's really good for ornithologists? Yeah, apparently. Um, yeah, because this is like a nature reserve now, isn't it? What are you doing? A twitcher. Is that a twitcher? I think a twitcher is more to do with your face rather than shake it all over. <laughs> no, no disrespect to anybody intended. <laughs> Don't do it again. All right. Sometimes you just can't take them anywhere, can you? Some gorgeous looking birds over there. They've got the most wonderful red necks. Uh, my junior bird flying book from 1978. Ladybird book. And uh, yeah, they are uh, red necked grebes. I think that might be ducks. <laughs> you sound a bit quacker as you do. <laughs> Let's go and take a closer look. I can hear the water tumbling. Perhaps there's some sort of weir. It looks quite fast flowing. years ago she went inland a lot more but it got silted up because of the mining waste and China clay waste and I think that's what we can see here because it's very white mm. found an old picture online didn't you 1910 of uh, Sept Bridge here over the river road and we're trying to marry up the same image aren't we pretty much I think it's changed very much 
No, not do I. It's been there centuries, hasn't it? What a beautiful old arch bridge. I'm always fascinated in the middle with the things that are left behind. It's the old nuts and the husks that would have dropped down yeah. in the autumn last year. Sweet chestnuts, aren't they? Yeah, just slowly decomposing. I bet a squirrel had a bit of a feast. You can just imagine him sat here, couldn't you? In the middle of this country lane, having a wonderful feast. Stocking up for the winter. Yeah. So the road's a little bit muddy. It's pretty good don't it? But you'd rather have the road than that, wouldn't you? Yeah, today I would, yeah. So I know that when we walk over fields and you follow footpaths, you see bits that you wouldn't normally see. But I think there is a limit, for me anyway, as to just how dirty and muddy I'm prepared to get. And that's beyond it. <laughs> Let's just have a little look in here. This church is normally shut but it has got the most gorgeous little churchyard and I think I saw some snowdrops and some camellias and even some primroses. Spring is on the way. So have you noticed there's no bell tower with the church? It's separate, it's at the bottom of the graveyard. Shall I show you? Yeah. This little building here. Well, we can just about make the bell out. You can see it from you in there. Well, let's I, have a look. It's quite dark, so I don't know if it'll come out on camera, but we'll have a look. We'll give it a try. This part of Cornwall is really off the beaten track. And without this book today, I would never have come to ruin Lanyhorn, let alone found Lamorin Church. It is such a joy to find somewhere so remote. It's beautiful. It's in this pile of logs here, Sarah. Yeah. It reminds me of a story. I was out the other day and I was chatting, I got chatting to a lumberjack. He'd been really busy, he'd been working all year. And I said to him, I said, do you know how many trees you've chopped down this year? And he said, yeah, I do actually, 1,824. I said, God, that's really impressive. And he said, yeah, I know, I've been really busy. I said, no, I said, it's really impressive that you know you've cut down exactly 1,824 trees this year. How do you know that? He said, it's obvious, I keep a log. <laughs> but bum quite good actually. Keep a log. Oh dear. I wonder where that was going. So far the walk's been pretty flat. The old rise and fall. But the book notes that there's a steep climb here so it'll be interesting to see just how steep, won't it? Puffing. Oh, it's quite steep. Reminds me of Talon Bay. Talon Bay. Have you seen up there? Ugh. <laughs> it's steep. It's a bit steep. Come on. Hello, baby. I think this old barn might be in need of some timely repairs. Get rid of that ivy for a start. Imagine converting that and waking up to that with a view every morning. Could we salvage this, Andrew? Ooh, look at the colonnades on that. Wow, that is some old barn, isn't it? New roof, <sighs> windows. Lost ya. Yeah. Wow, imagine a glass wall of windows behind that colonnade. You'd have a fantastic house, wouldn't you? I'm gonna take a left back to Ruin Lannihorn. So just coming back into the village now, we're going to have a look at the church here. It's really old and there's meant to be an old um, tomb. I think Andrew was muttering something about that. Oh yes. Corner. Oh, I, I know about this. Oh. It's in the book. Or one of our books. A coffin stone 700 years old has on it still clear the portrait of a priest under a canopy. He is holding a book to his breast. 
That's right, he's clutching a book, isn't he, with his hands here. Have you seen the sundial up here? It's so 1743 that sundial dates from. It tells me one really interesting fact. When that was put up in 1743, do you know what they called it? No. Well, they called it a sundial. Right. Right. For February 2020? Yeah. Do you know what I call it? No. A dial. Trails, <laughs> 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 really excited today. We're at Pisky HQ. So here we are at Pisky HQ. Caroline set this little business up eight years ago. Let's go and meet her and ask her exactly what is a pisky? Pisky, what's the word pisky mean? So in the rest of the country you might know it as a pixie, but in Cornwall it's a little bit different. It's a Cornish pisky. They are um, a bit cheeky, a bit mischievous. They're supposed to be a lucky charm, we can't guarantee it, but they are supposed oh. to be. <laughs> but um, it's ancient Cornish folklore that a Cornish pisky would bring you luck. So if you get one of these, you could get a good dose of luck. You could, but they could also get up to a little bit of mischief as well. <laughs> Cornish Pisky Pals, and this takes us all around Coverack. It does, yes. Takes you off little paths around the back. Not all the Piskies are easy to find. Oh, brilliant. Oh, <laughs> but okay. if you can't find them, you can either, you can work out the mystery Pisky phrase, or you can, there's a lot of locals that will help out if they see the <laughs> So here, this is Coverack Village Stores, not open because it is a Sunday. What have you just spotted? Pixie pearl. <laughs> I bet that's a clue, isn't she cute? You found it? Yeah. Found it? Yeah, no. In the little pot. Archie's loft is the next one. Archie's loft. Have we missed it? I might have been back there. What are we looking for? This is number Archie's four. Loft. Sane loft on the flagpole. How am I getting up there? I don't know. Should bring the flag down? No. Well, where is it? I can see something peeking out behind there. Oh yeah, there's no... Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit wet and I windy. I don't want to see my answers either. No, I thought so. I thought that was the real reason. Oh, go on, give us a look. <laughs> I think we should have had one each and then we could have competed. I'd get the quicker without you. It's not in the barometer then. No, I can see it. <gasps> it is. Look at that, isn't that just so cute? Turn around and rejoin road, turn left, take next left turn. Turn around, Ooh. go left. <laughs> I'm going this way, go I go. Rejoin road. <laughs> oh no, what is he doing? Up here. Hi, I'm Perrin. I think I need to keep an eye on these two. Turn around, rejoin road, turn left, take next left. Oh, take next left turn. Okay, can't find this one. Can't find the watch house. Have we gone wrong? Mm. <laughs> Don't think we're in the right place. I think we should get back down there again. Oh. Come on. <laughs> the watch house, it's on that gate. I doubt it's inside. I expect it's outside. Behind you! <laughs> It's I'm getting muddy. Yeah. Yes. Oh, see that little face. Oh, they are so cute, aren't they? Smuggler's rest. Winifred Cottage. It's so cute, fun. so cute. Tap, tapping wall. What's that mean? Tap the wall. Don't tap it too hard, it might fall over. Oh, that's a sneaky one, isn't it? That is a sneaky one. Up in there. Looking for Fernley. They missed me! Oh, Fernley. En suite, bed and breakfast. There's nothing obvious there, is there? Yeah. There's another sign down there, though, wasn't there? I said near top sign. Near top sign. That one's escaped. <laughs> He's gone to get his pasty. That one's got its freedom. <laughs> it's hiding in the bush. In there. Hello. Oh, oh. 
He's having a pesky five minutes. Pen glass on the fence. Quick, you've got five seconds to find this one. Ooh, before the, before the barky dog gets you. Oh my God, here it comes. Hello, sweeter, aren't you beautiful, hello. Oh, you just want to say hello, don't you? <laughs> He's just found it, come on. Oh my goodness, it's nowhere near the sign that we're running up hill now. I'm like Annika Rice. Look Stop at me. The clock. Stop the Stop clock. Stop the clock. We found it. Cossel Moor. Near the sign. There. Oh, she's so soggy. I really want to get these little things some rain bonnets or something. Do you know, I thought this takes five minutes. How long are we going to be going? I don't think we're very good at it. Oh, I'm right. Look, 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 look. There you it is. It? Yes. Oh, that's a sneaky one. Isn't it? There it is. Seriously, I just cannot believe how much fun we're having. We are trotting along lanes in Coverat that you wouldn't normally have the courage to go up and down. And it's just so much fun and I'm getting soaking wet, but I really don't care. <laughs> I'm having a whale of a time. There it is. Nikki. <laughs> Found it? Got that one. Okay. I was looking at a minstrel cottage when it was for sale. It's really expensive. You needed a lot of loot to live there. I didn't get oh loot as in as in oh very good. Like yes, yeah. very wow. clever. I got, I got a very good everybody. <laughs> How are we going to drive out? It? <laughs> oh, it's going to rip. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, this is the last one, is it? Yeah. I thought this was the first one. Yeah, still there. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee! They never found me. Piskies and Coverat. Gave us a run around, didn't they? We never did get that final one, did we? No. If ever you're in Coverat, though, it's really great fun. Give it a try. Love Coverat, yeah. And I think that shows you Cornwall and all of its characters, beautiful ocean views and stormy yeah. seas. Yeah, uh, you might only know Cornwall from sort of summer holidays and stuff, but there's something all through the year with fantastic walks. What are you doing? Put that biscuit down. You finished your tea ages ago. Right, have I got your attention? Good. Right, press that subscribe button. Thanks. So we hope you've enjoyed it. We know there's been quite a few new subs over the last year or so, so that gives you a flavour of our channel. And if you've been here a while, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.